Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 7 triangles. We will take a look at the solved examples uh, before exercise 7.2. So this is going to be based on congruency of triangles and also the two theorems that we learnt in the previous class related to isosceles triangles. So let's start with uh, solved example number 4 on page 122. Here is my diagram and let's see what is given. I have in triangle ABD, AD bisects angle A. So you have angle A, BAD is equal to angle CAD and also AD is perpendicular to BC. Therefore, these two angles ADB and ADC are equal. You need to prove two things that is AB is equal to AC. So you need to prove that these sides are equal. I am marking them with a different colored chalk because this is something we need to prove. And also we have to prove that ABC is isosceles. So once you prove that two sides of a triangle are equal, then the triangle is isosceles. Now let's go ahead and do the proof. It's very simple. You have equal angles here. You have a common side here and right angles here. Each of these are 90 degrees. So for triangle ABD and triangle ACD, the two triangles are congruent by which test? You have angle side angle test. Let's go ahead and write this. So I'll say proof in triangle ABD and triangle ACD I have angle BAD is equal to angle CAD. Why? I'll just write this little towards the left so that we can write the reason. I have angle BAD is equal to angle CAD. Why? Because AD bisects angle A. Correct? Also, AD is equal to AD, which is the common side. And finally, what do we have? Angle ADB is equal to angle ADC each is equal to each is 90 degrees therefore the two triangles are congruent by angle side angle test of congruence therefore triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD AC test Therefore, what can I say that AB is equal to AC? Why? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles or corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Now, AB is equal to AC for triangle ABC, which are the two sides. Therefore, triangle ABC is isosceles. So this was my first part and this was my second part. Pretty simple, right? Let's move on to question number two. We've been given that AB is equal to AC. So this entire side AB is equal to AC and also E is the midpoint of AB. So E is the midpoint of AB. Therefore, I have AE equal to EB. Correct? And also I have AF is equal to FC because F is the midpoint of AC. So you can see that all the all these sides AE, EB, AF, FC are all equal because first of all the two lines are equal and the halves of them will also be equal. So one half is this, the other half is this, similarly one half is this and the other half is this. You need to prove that BF is equal to CE. So BF is equal to CE. Now which triangles to take into consideration? If I take these two triangles over here that have BF and CE, proving them to be congruent is going to be a little tricky because all we have here is a common side and two equal sides. So we will cancel out this and see the triangles that we are going to consider. We are going to consider angle BAF and angle CAE. Why? Because if you see in BAF and CAE, let me draw the uh, triangle separately for you so that you will understand better. So I have BAF and C 
CAE. So let's mark this. Okay. They don't look congruent at all. Let me redraw it. This is just for explanation purpose. So please excuse me if my drawing is a little shabby. Okay. So I have A, B, F, and also I have angle A, C, E. Correct? So now if you notice, here we have these two sides as equal which is given. Also this angle here is equal. Now this part AF is half of AC. We have first of all AB uh, is equal to AC. Correct? Therefore we can say that ha half of AB will be equal to half of AC. Correct? But what is half of AB? We Half of AB could be EB or AE, but we need, oh, hang on, half of, I'll say AC is equal to AB. So half of AC is equal to half of AB. Now half of AC could be FC or AF, but in my triangle I have AF. So I will say AF is equal to half of AB. Similarly, half of AB is what? It could be EB or AE. But what do we need? We need AE. Correct? Therefore, for these two triangles, I have these two sides equal as well. Therefore, we can easily prove these two triangles congruent by the side angle side. See, you have a side, you have an angle and you have a side. Correct? That is why we are not taking these two triangles although in these two triangles that is ebc and fb uh, and fcb we have sides bf and ec which we need to prove equal we are not taking those two bottom triangles because they, uh, we will lack one parameter to prove the two triangles congruent which is why i'm taking the two upper triangles with the common angle a so let's go ahead and write the proof and obviously, once you prove the two triangles congruent, then you can say that the that BF is equal to CE. BF is equal to BF is equal to CE. Why? Because they're corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So I'll say proof. And by the way, even if you draw this triangle, if you draw this, you know, for simplification, even in a in the rough working uh, working column, it's going to lay a very good impression on your examiner who will be correcting your paper. So make sure you do these kind of small, small stuff which will help you gain your marks. The teacher might not even go through what you've written because she will understand that you have understood the concept and people don't really like reading, they prefer pictures more. So just, uh, you know, try to represent it diagrammatically. Anyway, let's proceed with the proof. So I'll say in triangle ABE or rather we will first prove that AF is equal to AE. So I'll say AC is equal to AB, which is given. We've been given that AB is equal to AC. I can write it vice versa that AC is equal to AB, right? Therefore, half of AC is equal to half of AB. Half of AC is here, we have written. AF is equal to AE. I will mark this as 1. Now, in triangle ABF, and triangle ACE. See how I'm taking the two triangles. A to B, then F, therefore A to C and then E. Don't go A, B, F and A, E, C. That is wrong because we have to give a one-to-one -one correspondence between the vertices and the sides and the angles, right? So I have angle B, A, F is equal to angle C, A, E. Why? Common angle. Then I have AB is equal to AC, which is given. Also I have AF is equal to AE from 1. Therefore the two triangles are congruent by which method? Side angle, side test of congruence. Therefore triangle ABF is congruent to triangle ACF by side angle side test therefore let's prove what is required 
therefore bf is equal to ce cp ct i'm sure you must have learned uh, by now what is cp ct congruent parts of congruent triangles so erasing this side of the board i have i hope even if you have not taken this down you have at least noted this down because it will uh, give you an idea how to prove the two triangles congruent and thereby bf is equal to ce that doesn't mean that you don't note this down please note this down as well anyway let's proceed to question number 6 okay so i have a triangle and then i see two lines within the triangle let's see what we need to prove i have ab is equal to ac which is marked with the single dashes on the lines ab and ac and be is equal to cd so i have be is equal to cd correct i need to prove that ad is equal to ae so i need to prove that ad is equal to ae so let's see the triangles we are going to take first from the figure and then now i need to prove that ad is equal to ae how am i going to prove that if i prove any two triangles congruent i can prove that the uh, corresponding sides are congruent are equal correct so i need ad and ae which is why i will take triangle abd and ae uh, and ace why because see over here i have these two sides equal therefore the opposite angles are also going to be equal we learned from the theorem iso of isosceles triangle that was uh, theorem 7.2 and also you will notice that bd is equal to ec let's see how it's been given that be is equal to cd correct so if i subtract equal from equals the remainders are equal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract this section de so be minus de and it's going to be cd minus de so what am i left with i'm left with bd is equal to ce so if i take these two triangles then i can prove them congruent by which test i have side angle and side so let's draw the triangle now so this is this diagram is for reference purpose i'll see proof let's first prove that bd is equal to ce so i have be is equal to cd which is given therefore be minus de is going to be cd minus de subtracting equals from equals the remainders are going to be equal so be minus de is what bd and cd minus de is what ce i'll mark this statement as 1 now in triangle abd and triangle ace what do i have ab is equal to ac given then angle abd is equal to angle ace why angles opposite equal sides of isosceles triangle also i have bd is equal to ce from 1 correct therefore triangle abd is congruent to triangle ace by side angle side test of congruence therefore ad is equal to ae 
by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So with this we wind up with the solved examples. We will take a look at the exercise 7.2 in the next class. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.